Hey, arty harmy harties, and welcome to Medieval Technology. Today, we have a very overcomplicated elevator featuring the belt transmission that I showed you yesterday. And if you haven't seen that, you can click the link screen right now and you'll go there and see that because there is a lot of those here. And it also features a new thing, a clutch, that you can see right here. Here is one of the clutches in this design. You can see that this is all connected. The rotation from this rotor over here goes through everything and uh, goes over to this, which is the output, which goes over to the elevator. If we go to the second clutch, you can see that this is disengaged and the rotation from this rotor stops right here. And this part is actually rotating in the other direction because it is in fact connected to the other clutch and vice versa. So if we were to uh, reverse this elevator and make it go down, which it will do all by itself, go all the way to the bottom. Uh, you can now see that this part over here has the rotation uh, transferred all the way to the elevator, making it go in the other direction. And this clutch is now doing what the other thing did, uh, where the rotation of this rotor stops right here and this part of the clutch is rotating in the opposite direction. Very interesting indeed. Uh, so these clutches are, as I said, connected together uh, via the elevator. So the elevator itself is composed out of four rope drums. Uh, these four rope drums are all connected together, so it will move as one, uh, which means that the elevator won't, uh, or the, the cart won't. If my character would just move a little bit, that would be really nice. Uh, so it won't tilt like this <laughs> when it goes down. Uh, which is very useful. Uh, the control at the bottom goes up here, connects to this, which is what we use to control it at the top. We can actually, if we want to, uh, change the direction of this so it is going up. This goes to the control of the uh, up clutch, and it goes through that, goes over to the controls of the down clutch. Uh, so that means that when one clutch engages, the other will disengage and that will always be true so there is not a case where both clutches are engaged at the same time because if that happens they will just fight each other and nothing will really happen the ropes will just stretch a little and well that's basically it so there we go let's click that uh, here we have the clutch i'm not going to do a detailed tutorial on how to build it because first of all it's a pretty advanced build and it took me a lot of just trying out to build it, so you can do the same, just try it out. Also, this is probably going to become a block of its own, as we have seen uh, the same functionality in earlier uh, videos from Keen, though it, there is never a, um, a promise of it actually making it into the game. So uh, hopefully it makes it into the game. Uh, but, of course, we can't uh, know that until the block is actually with us. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. And if I figure out how the workshop works for medieval engineers, you'll probably find a bunch of this in the description below. So, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you the next time.